One of the great elements of people with positivity is that they have a great deal of resilience. And you had a time when you were exploring this idea about going to MIT, and there was actually somebody, a leader in your life, who said, that's probably not the right option for you, yet you still found a way to make it happen. Can you talk a little bit more about that story and how you overcame that uh, yeah, it, moment? Yeah, and it was amazing. I, I, when I tell this story, it's just really saddening, and people sort of get sort of annoyed by it. But um, when I was applying to college, I applied to all the Ivy schools, MIT, Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Stanford, all those schools. And I was blessed enough to get into all the schools. And word was going around the school that, you know, Reginald had gotten to these schools and, and gotten scholarships to these schools, et cetera. So my senior counselor, the, the, the college counselor, called me out of class to come to her office. I assumed to congratulate me on getting into all these schools. She proceeded to tell me, you may be important for this little school here in Houston, but I'd hate for you to go to Boston and embarrass yourself and waste your parents' money. Why don't you stay here and go to somewhere you can be more competitive, a local school, right? And because I was polite and knew how to treat adults, I thanked her. Uh, but from that very moment, I said, I'm not listening to her. I have all these other people around me, my parents, my friends, kids in the school saying, oh my God, you're going to MIT, this is fantastic, right? And what I found is that um, there will always be haters in the world. You can't avoid them, they're there. I use the haters to my advantage. So when I graduated from MIT four years later, she was still in my high school. I went back to the high school with my diploma, showed her the diploma, and she was apologizing for not being more encouraging. I said, no, you have no idea how much you encouraged me because when I didn't want to stay up late and burn the midnight oil, I could hear your voice in my head and that inspired me to keep going. So what I do is I use the haters to inspire me. What haters don't want me to do, I must do. And sometimes that's more motivation than me wanting to do. I want to do it because you said I couldn't do it.